The Genomics Education Partnership, or GEP, is a nationwide community of faculty dedicated to facilitating equity in undergraduate biology education. GEP provides training, resources, and mentorship to empower faculty to provide their students experiential learning and course-based undergraduate research experiences, or CURES, in genomics and bioinformatics. The GEP celebrates the diverse types of institutions and students represented by our faculty and is committed to recruiting and mentoring faculty at institutions especially well poised to serve students from historically underrepresented groups. Equitable access to research and the associated career development opportunities can help build a more representative biomedical community, one that is fair and just. Members of the GEP teach at over 200 colleges and universities across the United States and Puerto Rico, of which 31% are minority-serving institutions and 13% are community colleges. Since all GEP research projects are entirely computer-based, no research infrastructure is needed. The only required equipment is access to a computer with an internet connection. GEP students engage in authentic scientific research and develop marketable skills in critical thinking, communication, and big data analyses. Since its founding in 2006, more than 1,000 GEP students have contributed as co-authors on published scientific research papers. Recently, the GEP began providing more proximal opportunities for student co-authorship. By partnering with micropublication, students can publish their individual gene model reports and subsequently deposit their corresponding data at NCBI. The GEP has developed over 120 pieces of curriculum to address all levels of undergraduate biology, including introductory students learning eukaryotic gene structure. Multiple avenues of support are provided for faculty and their students. GEP students can access a virtual teaching assistant for real-time support seven days a week. And as a group, the TAs are as diverse as the general population, so no matter what background a student may have, there is someone to connect with them in the virtual TA group, including a bilingual TA. The GEP supports attendance at conferences and workshops for members and their students and offers numerous opportunities for professional development, including the science seminar series, career talks, and the faculty alumni workshop held each summer. Since our diversity, equity, and inclusion committee's efforts are likely of particular interest to biome attendees, I wanted to briefly discuss some of those. In January, we held our very first bilingual new member training for faculty in Puerto Rico. And then in the spring, GEP piloted six modules of Spanish translated curriculum and plans to further expand the initiative are ongoing. The GEP recently assembled a collection of over 100 DEI-focused instructional resources covering a gamut of topics including gender identity, accessibility, and the biology of skin color. We have focused on improving accessibility across all digital platforms including redesigning the GEP website and adding closed captions to videos and alternative text to documents. We're also converting all walkthroughs and exercises from Word documents to web pages, which will improve accessibility of GEP curriculum and also compatibility with mobile devices. The GEP is actively recruiting new members, especially faculty at community colleges and minority serving institutions. Regardless of your interest in joining the GEP, if you'd like to discuss any of the topics I've covered, please don't hesitate to reach out so we can learn from one another. I will end with a quote from GEP's program director. The research experience should not be limited to those who have access to a lab. When the world shifted online during the pandemic, GEP proved that research can still go on. We are more confident than ever that all students can have access to a research experience.